You're now tuned in to Thoughts of a Black Sheep. And guess what? I got some thoughts. All right, the music industry, as we discussed in part one, is no more than spells being cast on people using words. They hide phrases and messages inside of lyrics and words. For example, the word industry is really a hidden challenge to who the industry is really fighting against. The word industry is three syllables. Industry is really a code to their competition saying the first syllable end and you will say it like end spell it e-n-d second syllable us third syllable try and the entity or spirit or whatever you want to call it behind the industry is creating copies of itself through people to make the deception or the spell stronger and it's it, it mocks people because it's saying end us try like or uh, try to end us that's the music industry y'all get what i'm saying i hope so but that's why all the mainstream artists have the same theme money cars drugs and sex see the words will have the message while the video will show the occult or uh, hidden meaning of the spell they are performing. Even though I hear the same, um, you know, or the true meaning in all types of music, I'm more focused on hip-hop. But since my hip don't hop, I'm just call it rap. As a side note of how a spell work, if you get a man like Africa Bambata that likes to defile boys and young men, and he is deemed the godfather of hip-hop, well, when that father get on the mic and spit words that he created or maybe was given to him by a, a, a different entity or spirit or whatever, his essence or spirit is released along with the spell disguised as lyrics. So when, when his words are heard and people accept the lyrics or spell, not only are the lyrics accepted, the spirit and the spirit of the spell is accepted as well. So if the godfather of hip hop is a homosexual pedophile, his words will try to reproduce his essence through the listener as they will start to repeat the spell, then talk like the spell caster and even dress like him or, or her. And they will find themselves knowingly or unknowingly indulging in the same lifestyle as the rapper or singer, or like I call them, the spellcaster, in one form or another, they going to act like them. Now, that same concept goes for every entertainer you listen to. I don't care who it is. That's why they'll get the entertainer to wear certain clothes because they know the power of the spell that the entertainer have over the, the people. The people going to start dressing like them. You get what I'm saying? It's all a spell. So, you might ask, how can the spell work on, on me? You know? Let's let's check this out. Check this out. If you listen uh, to part one, at the end, I played a clip from uh, Vampire in Brooklyn where Eddie Murphy was acting as a character called Preacher Pauline. And he used his words to get the people to, to believe and to chant that evil is good the messed up part about it is that's what this world has been teaching us from birth that evil is good now i think everyone can agree that killing someone if it's not uh in self-defense is wrong but when we watch movies they show a bad guy right and make him or her seem so terrible that when we watch them get killed We'll cheer for him. Even though murder is wrong, you cheer. And even before he die, you know, we'll be hoping that he or she get killed or hurt. That's a way the movie industry make us feel evil is good and initiate the viewer into an occult order without the viewer even knowing it. Now, that's the movie industry spell. The music industry spell uses words to change the mentality of the listener 
For example, early on in the game, the spell, the spell caster or a rapper used to say, I'm not a buster. Remember that? They used to be on, man, I, I ain't no buster, you know? And they made being, being a buster something that no one wanted to be. And back then, if you called someone a buster, that was a fight. Now, we are talking about spells being cast on people. So if you look up if you look up the word buster um Miriam Webster the full dis definition of buster says this um the first one says someone or something extraordinary uh the is the second one an unusually sturdy child now sturdy mean strongly built uh stalwart meaning strong and brave um, a second meaning is strong as in substance, construction, or texture. So, I want to ask you right quick. What's wrong with being a buster? But as you can see, instead of not wanting to be a buster, the rapper or spellcaster should have been telling the listener to be a buster. But the music industry is not for you, but against you. So, what's good they will cast a spell through lyrics and make you believe being a buster is bad. That way, you won't be a strong man or woman and fight against the industry and the way they are trying to destroy the minds of people. You feel what I'm saying? It's all, it's all a spell. Now, they use so-called entertainers. If you remember at one time, Queen Latifah, she said, you got to let them know. You not a bitch or a hoe. Y'all remember that? Um, the song called uh, Unity. Being that at one time, calling a woman a bitch was like the highest insult you could say. And you know I ain't lying. But the spellcasters, as I call them, you know, meaning rappers or singers or wh whichever one you like, in the music industry, they made what is bad good. By saying things like, if a woman is independent and got her own, she is a bad bitch. Let alone, you know, it's not good to be bad. But how everything been switched, bad is good. But like, like I keep saying, it's a spell being cast in every song. And all these entertainers are working together. So they all will glorify a bad bitch when the whole time a man should look for a good woman but most men and women are under the industry spell because of their favorite rapper or singer so they are searching for and and e involving themselves i guess i could say it like that um in what's wrong thinking is right because of the spell of the industry you feel what I'm saying? Everything that, that's that's being pumped out by the media, by the industry, is, is to destroy you. They do not want to help you. That's why they pay these people millions of dollars, because they affect millions of people. You get what I'm saying? Future. That name Future should really tell you something, but he have a song called Wicked. Everybody, well, I ain't gonna say everybody, cause I don't, I don't mess with Future. I don't, I don't, um, I don't indulge in his in his spells. But I know a lot of people, a lot of children, listen to Future, listen to that song, and they singing it. You know, his his album cover is um, is evil, which is love backwards. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, it's not like it is. Everything that that is bad is now good. He got almost the whole world singing a song called Wicked. And in the club, jumping up and down to it, just, you know, getting into it. It's a spell being cast. There are spells being cast on people through music. And it's been going on since way back in the day. This have been thoughts of a black sheep. I'm out.